What's up guys, yo, in this video, I just wanted to talk about commission versus booth rent barbershops. I'm gonna give you guys a perspective from a barber's angle and a perspective from a barbershop owner's angle. And I think that this might be a little bit enlightening for you guys because I think there can be a win-win situation. I'll try to break this down as well as I can. I will be brainstorming. I'm gonna bring up the whiteboard here. One of the, the main things we have to look at is understanding how this income is made and how the IRS sees it. Let's say this is your barbershop. This is the shop and this is you as the individual whatever this barbershop makes flows through all this cash this is money and all of this cash is going to be made by the business of which is going to flow through to you and you are taxed by the irs on what's called a marginal tax rate and what that means is zero to ten thousand dollars you might be taxed a certain percentage from 10 to 40 another percentage from 40 to 80, another percentage, so on and so forth. For this 10K, you might pay, let's say 0%. From 10 to 40, you might pay 12%. From 40 to 80, you might pay 20%. That doesn't mean if you're in the 20% tax bracket that you pay 20% on 80,000. That means you pay 20% on $40,000. You pay 12% on another 30,000 and zero on your first 10,000, which means although you're at the 20% tax bracket, your effective tax rate is going to be the average of these, right? Not necessarily the average, but you guys get what I'm saying. Let's say that's 3,600 bucks, 20% of 40 grand is $8,000, okay? And then $0 here, 11,600 divided by your 80,000 bucks, that would mean you are effective tax rate is 14 and a half percent. Now, there's a lot more details to that, right? You have QBI, you have all kinds of deductions, standard deductions, tax credits you might be able to uh, take advantage of, write-offs, uh, depreciation. So, you know, this is why I tell you guys, H&R Block is not enough for you. If you're self-employed, so there's so much money you're probably missing out on that you're not understanding. It's okay, like there's 7,000 pages in the tax law, in the IRS tax law. You should, you know, be outsourcing this. Just like we wouldn't tell our clients to go color their own hair because there's so much to chemical services that they don't quite understand. I wouldn't tell you guys to go do this on your own, right? At some point, your taxes is gonna be the biggest expense of your life. The more money you make, the more it's gonna be a problem. And so there's going to be certain situations, if you have an opportunity to let's say, and it makes 80K, and opportunity B, makes 120k opportunity a is zero percent tax and opportunity b is 40 percent tax do you see which opportunity is actually better where most people don't even think about taxes they're picking b every single time there's more to it in business than that and that's why you'll see situations where people will take what might look like from an outside perspective a lesser opportunity, they're taking it because they've done their due diligence, right? Or they're in a certain different situation. If this is your only income, you might want to take opportunity B because now you're only taxed at, let's say, 15% effective tax rate as opposed to 40. But if you already make a high income, let's say you make 200, 250,000 a year, that opportunity A might be the better opportunity for that individual. If you're thinking long term, you are thinking with this in mind, where a lot of people don't think with that in mind. And the reason why I'm starting off this conversation this way is because it's necessary when we're thinking commission versus booth rent. Here's the other thing. The other thing is ROI. At some point, money becomes less valuable than time. ROI is return on investment. At some point, your investment where most people think it's money, it's just money. It's not. It's time and money and what's called opportunity cost. And here's why this is another one. Because unless you have all the money in and all the time in the world, which nobody does, no one has all the time in the world, and most people don't have all the money in the world. Opportunity cost is in effect for 99.99. You get what I'm saying? It's a challenge for everyone. And so real quick, I just wanted to show you the definition, not my definition, but the dictionary's de definition. The loss of potential gain from other alternatives when one alternative is chosen. I don't think anyone can argue 
boot frame barbershop takes more time to manage than commission. It's the other way around. It takes much more time to manage a commission shop than boot frame. Well, why? Because you are responsible for your team's success. Not saying you shouldn't ethically feel some type of responsibility for your team's success either way, but with commission, you are much more responsible and much more active in the business because of the business model. You have to make sure that there's barbers there cutting hair because that's how you make money. Where booth rent, it's much more passive. It's like real estate. You're leasing a space, you're subleasing square footage from that space, and you're making passive income. When something is passive, there's much less opportunity cost because of what? You're spending less time in that business. It's not dependent on your time the way a commission shop is dependent on your time. Now, could you put managers in place, systems in place? Sure. But there's even with managers and systems in place, there's much more of an opportunity cost with a commission shop than there is a booth rent shop, right? And so I've had commission shops and booth rent shops. And although I've never really spent a lot of time in either one because I have a great team, I can tell you that my business partners that are involved spend much more time with the commission shop than they did with booth rent shop. You'd have barbers who would need for more, right? Because they're entitled to that as a commissioned, make sure the shop is supplied, make sure they have whatever supplies they need that you, it's part of your policies. A lot of commission shops, they provide the, the sanding strips, they supply razors, they supply barberside, sanitizer, all kinds of things, right? When a booth rent model, you really just provide for the common in place area, right? The bathroom, everything else is the barber's responsibility. So not only there is there more capital cost, there's also more time cost. And because of both capital and more time cost, that is a opportunity cost of which I could have put more capital and more time into another opportunity. People ask me all the time, Chris, how do you do so many businesses? Most of my businesses are scalable. I can put systems in place and a lot of them are passive. The real estate's passive and the barbershops are passive. But let's just say it would take my guys 10 hours a week to run a commission shop. With a booth rent shop, let's just say it would take them one hour a month. And why Why is this weekly? Making sure you have supplies, doing payroll. There's all kinds of reasons. There's all kinds of reasons. Much more complaints with commission shops. With booth rent shops, man, as long as you're hiring good and you got a good system, it's, it's pretty damn passive. What can I do with all this time that I don't have to spend on a booth rent shop? And what about the capital that I don't have to spend for a commission shop, the extra capital? Because the costs are probably double with a commission shop. And depending on, on how active and how, how much you're investing into your business, it might be even more. It might be triple because you're running ads and all kinds of things, right? Where a lot of our barbers pay for their own ads. We do some of it as well because we want our guys to win. But once they're established and they're making decent money, the barbers do their thing. So for the entrepreneur who's going to constantly be building, I have much more time invest into other businesses. And this is much more scalable because it's a much more simple business model. What am I losing out as far as money is concerned? Because I know I'm gaining a lot of time. Bufrent is gaining me a lot of time. And I believe, and I've already said that to me, time is more important than money. So what am I really losing out on? Even if a commission shop makes double, let's say this shop is netting $120,000 and this one is netting $60,000. Another part that you don't think of is commission turnover, probably three times, three times the amount of turnover a bullfriend shop has, probably more than that. So if you're netting 120K, you're doing great. If you're in a market where booth rent is not as common, like your New Jersey's, your Canada's, maybe some of California, maybe some of Oregon, you know, you're, you're probably not going to have as much turnover as a place in like Florida that's or Georgia that's heavily booth rent. But I can tell you in most states, turnover will be a huge issue as far as commission is concerned. But there's that headache you gotta deal with as well. With booth franchise, I don't have any turnover. If I have turnover, they have to be a terrible human being. They have to be going through some type of life crisis or they're going to open up their own location of which is, is an amazing win for them. And for us as well, because they, they, they grew with us, right? Everybody has ambitions to grow and you, you can't stop that right? And everybody's idea of what growth is, is going to be different. Somebody might want to work at a barbershop to save up money to finally go or open up a landscaping business. That's a W. That was their goal. And they were able to accomplish that through your platform. You should be proud of that. But that's off topic. Like I said, I'm going to be all over the place. But let's say, boom, this is what we're netting here. 60K, 120K. It's taking me an hour a month to make this 60K. 
It's taking me 10 hours weekly, so 40 hours a month. What is your return on your time investment? Where is it much higher? Much higher here, much higher here, much higher here. And there's more barbers who would want to do booth rent than commission. So you're in a bigger addressable market as, as well. This is why, and by the way, our barber shops make anywhere from 50 to 100K net. We have two locations that are in the 80 to 100K mark, and the rest of them are in the 50 to 70K mark, okay? So I'm gonna say on average, our shops are doing about 70K net. That's on average. So we'll use 70K number um, overall. Your return on investment, if we're talking time and capital, is higher here because there's less capital put into a booth rent shop than there is a commission shop, right? And there's much more time put into a commission shop than there is a booth rent shop. So what everybody sees is this, but they don't see the ROI, okay? Which is what investors should be seeing. What is my return on investment? Well, there's minimal time investment and there's less capital investment. Let's say it costs me 50K to start booth rent shop, 4K a month to run it. But then on the commission side, it's gonna cost me, let's say, 70K, why? Because you gotta have supplies. That might mean color, that might that might be um, barber size, that, that stuff adds up. 70K, and then let's say seven to 8K a month to continue to run it between more advertising, supplies, um, education, there's all kinds of things that commission shops promise to their, to their guys, right? But you still netted more. So the capital investment's higher, and the time investment is higher because it's very time investment is minimal here i can scale this over and over and over again so if we're thinking long term if we're thinking long term for the amount of time i spend running one of these i can open up five locations it's going to take time to get there but i can tell you in one year we opened up three locations it starts to snowball the other part and we spoke about this was the taxes which one do you think gets taxed higher commission or booth rent well, if your guys are on payroll, like in the um, states that are heavily commissioned, um, would require you to do is make them a, a W-2, you'd be paying payroll taxes on top of everything else. So inherently, just from that, you're going to pay more in taxes with commission. So at the pass-through entity, as, it pa as that income passes through to you, this guy's paying more in taxes. That's an expense that a lot of people do not think about when they're looking at these numbers. With booth rent, some states still require sales tax, of which you don't pay, the booth renter pays. You just have to collect it for the IRS. And if you do an S-Corp, all that income passes through to an S-Corp, that's, that's a whole nother game, you guys would save some money there, all right? But you still gotta pay the payroll taxes. I'm not an accountant, so don't hold me to it. But I'm just giving you, I, I do own an accounting firm called Pi Accounting, we have some amazing accountants there, tax strategists, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys call Pi Accounting or set up a consultation call if you're interested in, in getting your finances right. So I guess this, I made this video longer than it needed to be. Now, on the flip side, if you only want one location and you're okay with dedicating all your time and all your capital into that one location and you don't need for more and you're in a marketplace where commission, you know, is, is actually pretty common, then go for commission. If you want to grow your wealth and you want to have a passive lifestyle um, where you could take vacation for 60 days, for 60 days, still make money every single week, come back to your business and it's thrive. It's gonna be difficult to do that with a commission-based shop unless you have a manager and even then it's still gonna be more difficult. And if you have a manager in place, that is no longer 120K. That's no longer 120K in net, right? Once you put a manager in place. At that point, you might as well just be at booth rent. The barbers will be happier if you have a system in place. A commission shop is great for guys who don't want to deal with taxes, who are bad with their own money, who are bad with um, budgeting, who aren't responsible, they're not going to pay their taxes. Commission shops are great for those those type of individuals. And again, commission shops are great for the type of owners who don't want, want a shop. But I just want to make sure you guys realize that if you go the commission model, you are establishing a business that has a ceiling and it's going to require your attention. I think most people open businesses because they want more freedom. They want the American dream, right? And so your business should be a platform for you as an individual to reach your individual goals and to help others as well. There's also marketplaces where it's going to be really difficult to have a booth rent shop. So imagine you want to be in a luxury mall, but rent at that mall is $7,000 a month. You know, if you have 10 chairs, you have 10 chairs at let's say 300 bucks a week, that's $3,000 a week times four, you're at 12 grand. 
but you still have electricity, you still have water. Let's say electricity is 500 bucks. Let's say water is 200 bucks. Let's say advertising is a thousand bucks. Let's say cleaning service is 500 bucks a month. You know, Wi Fi is 120 bucks a month. Phone is a, I don't know, 80 bucks a month. I don't know. But by the time you're done, you're like at 10,000 bucks. And you put, <laughs> when you're opening a shop in a mall, you're talking real money. So you put 100 grand into this shop to make after booth rent and uh and um, expenses to make 2k a month who in their right mind would invest a hundred thousand dollars to get a two percent return that's what a lot of barbers don't understand no one's doing that no one sees the hundred thousand dollar investment the personal guarantee that the owner's putting in they're taking on all the risk if this doesn't get to 10 shares and let's say it only gets to to nine guess what this shop owner is losing money every single month that they're in business. If they lose one barber, they're losing money every single month. And trust me, they're gonna lose barbers. This business model would not work. But everybody thinks because it's a shop owner, he's rich, he should be not only taking on all the risk, but don't be greedy. Like you're 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 making two k a month. No, bro, that's not what you put a hundred thousand. You don't. That's a terrible investment. Nobody does that. For this to work, you might need to be a commission model. Because if you're a commission, and let's say you're at 70, 30 and the average barber's bring, bringing you 500 bucks in revenue a week. Now you're in business because now you're making $20,000 a month. You're making 10K after expenses. Now you got a 10% return on your $100,000 investment annually. And by the way, this isn't happening in year one. This might take two years to get to. So not only are they going to, they're going to be losing money every single year until they get to that 10th barber or that ninth barber or that eighth barber, depending on what that breakthrough is or that break even is. So this number might grow into 150,000 in capital that they've invested before they start making this 10K a month of which now that return becomes, I don't know, what is it? Seven and a half percent or something instead of 10. And what if it's worse? What if they can never get past five barbers? That's the risk that shop owners are making and when they finally make it everybody wants to tell you what to do with, with your money barbers got to get that attitude out of their head if they only knew the full picture okay so ultimately what i'm saying is commission is better than booth rent in certain scenarios for this for the right person i think for majority of people who go into business if they're thinking long term and they're thinking big and they want to scale booth rent all day if you want a business that's going to amplify your lifestyle is booth rent all day, in my opinion. Your barbers will love you. You'll keep them around. You'll be surrounded with a whole bunch of barbers making six figures. Happy to see you when you walk into the shop, not the other way around. <laughs> that's how I be in a lot of commission shops. So hopefully that clarifies some things for you guys. I can go on on with this for hours. You know, I can. There's all kinds of questions I'm sure you guys have. If you have questions, definitely hit them in the comments below. I don't answer every comment, obviously, but I try to be in there, and at the very least, it'll inspire my next video. So hopefully you guys got value out of this, and I will see y'all on the next one.